Assalamualaikum, selamat tengah hari Hari ini saya berada di Petronas Sepang International Circuit Kerana Porsche telah menjemput kami Untuk view beberapa kereta-kereta yang agak exciting Dan bagi kita orang the true Porsche experience around the track Kita orang akan bawa beberapa model Porsche From the Taycans, the uh, Macans, Cayman, the 911 of course And a uh, few other models Semua kita akan test drive dekat test track Sepang Dan Tengok depan aku ni ada apa Look at that bro 911 GT3 RS 911 GT3 RS memang One of the dream lah The dream Porsche cars Yang anyone aku rasa any supercar lover Would love to have Is the 911 GT3 Even the GT2 Especially in the YSAC package <sighs> So many new So many nice and beautiful cars to see Join aku, kita akan experience the Porsche experience together. Jom. Sumpah, there's no way to describe apa aku rasa dalam kereta ni So sekali dengan Porsche World Road Show Kali ni diorang buat dekat Malaysia dulu We have the privilege to see the new Taycan. So the Taycan S, the Taycan, the Taycan Turbo, Turbo S Semua dah di upgrade Better charging, better range, better performance Everything is in the new Taycan Kau boleh nampak uh, muka yang baru A bit more refined There's some intakes right here Untuk Taycan yang Taycan yang base model Dia orang telah upgrade WLTP daripada 500 lebih, 500 saya tak ingat Tapi sekarang dah jadi 678 dalam 130 increase dekat WLTP range dia So this is the look from the behind Updated sikit sebab ada diffuser yang baru So it looks more fresh Okay masuk ke dalam pula It's still the same layout that you know uh, Tekan punya layout macam ni Staring uh, 16 inch screen 12 inch screen Dan optional juga Screen kat sini And then same thing Climate controls all here And then kita ada oh, Accessory extra ni Tak tahu datang sekali ke tak okay. So accessory ni untuk cup holders And ada Ada ambient lighting sikit dekat cup holder ni And then tekan logo right there And then kita ada trim Dekat side pintu Untuk model Taycan ni datang dengan Bose speakers Selain daripada tu This is the Taycan that you know of Just better, faster Charges better Much more efficient Much longer range This would be a nicer update To the old Taycan Sekarang dengan WLTP range yang lebih tinggi Range anxiety almost Dah tak ada dah Sebab dalam satu charge 10-20 minit kau dah, kau dah boleh dapat dalam 200km uh, of charging eh 10 minit charging kau dah dapat 200 uh, km Then kalau kau tunggu 25 minit You might have already about 500-400 km on your range So that is really good for the Taycan So Taycan starts at about 575,000 ringgit Malaysia Up to sejuta lebih Sejuta seratus kot Tak silap saya Untuk yang cross It starts at about 600k Up to sejuta lebih so, depending on which one you want, untuk aku personally, aku suka yang Taycan Cross But if you like the Taycan, then the Taycan is what you shall get Okay, so everyone is walking towards the ruang untuk tengok a sneak preview of the new Macan This is the Macan 4, previously Macan 3 Dan untuk pengetahuan korang, Macan 3 masih akan dijual di dalam Malaysia as the combustion models 
Then dia orang ada Macan 4 and the Macan Turbo which are the fully electric vehicle. So jom kita tengok. Ini adalah the Macan 4. Ini adalah Macan Turbo. Kita pergi ke Macan 4 dulu. First thing yang kita akan notice new headlamp design. So headlamp is no longer on top. Headlamp sekarang replace ke bla bawah and it's a, a much bigger lights lah. And then being an electric there will be a frank around 80 plus liters extra of space and then we have the new rims this is for the Macan 4 and untuk yang turbo we have more sporty rims lah, but we go to that later untuk belah depan is still quite a very familiar layout the regular Porsche layout untuk center console ni diorang dah updated sikit so they made this kind of design yang bernaik macam ni it started during the Carrera GT and the Cayenne tetapi sebab sebabkan nak ruang kat tengah ni so they added a uh, ruang yang kosong terus and then there is a key fob charger and a wireless charger right inside here with cooling sekarang ni tak boleh nak start kereta tetapi kalau start kereta korang akan nampak ambient lighting yang akan span across the whole interior so bila kau buka pintu dia akan menyala putih and then bila kau keluar kereta kau off kereta dia akan menyala merah dia akan bagi tahu kau bila ada ada blind spot warning dia akan keluar guys tu so sebelum kau buka pintu dia akan bagi tahu do not open the door because there's a bike or there's a car passing by benda yang aku suka is the interior so the Macan 4 this one dia orang showcase dalam color uh, purple dia orang i forgot the true color name for it Tetapi for the interior as well, they've gone for a little purple interior. Even even plus seat ni pun dia purple yang gelap. I like that. Okay, so duduk kat dalam, aku rasa agak selesa. Yes, it's not just agak selesa, it's very comfortable. Shoulder support, back support is enough. Kaki aku sedikit cram lah, maybe because I'm quite tall about 180 cm benda yang aku benci is this you see this benda ni slanted like this and it leaves just so much space for kaki kau untuk lalu and kaki kau akan terkena-kena kat sini kat tepi-tepi ni so benda ni akan kotor and being an electric car it's important to have good speakers so speakers from both very good Pandangan dari belakang So far I like the design You can see A new diffuser design right here For the Macan 4 So lampu baru is still consider the same uh, Long tail LED But Dia orang dah buat 3D lah As I said Kau boleh nampak dalam ah, nampak tak? You can see it's this, Dia dah tak ada plastik Untuk cover the entire light So you can you can touch <laughs> Nice boot space. Ni untuk turunkan seat bila kau nak put barang-barang yang lagi panjang. And then ada air suspension untuk lowerkan, untuk tinggikan senang sikit kau nak load barang. And selepas tu, ini adalah Macan Turbo. So untuk Turbo models coming forward, diorang dah upgrade, diorang punya design characteristics to know it's a turbo model. Just look at the badge. So badge they grade out, bukan macam yang sana. Yang sana tu, it's a golden emblem. This one is a grade out emblem. So that's how you know it's a turbo. And then for the turbo model, you get nicer rims, obviously. And then you have the electric badging. Sama juga macam kat sana. And then belah sini, this is the blade. Ni blade, diorang kata the blade is to minimize the height look on the mekan lah. Diorang nak bagi mekan tu nampak lagi ketot instead of panjang mengatas. Coming into the mekan turbo punya interior, same thing, same layout. If the only thing is the steering wheel, uh, the difference, same thing you can see the grade out Porsche logo and also the grade out stitching. Color scheme ni dipanggil Turbo Knight. Uh, itulah uh, the differentiate between the regular models and the Turbo models. We have the Turbo Knight color. And also the interior you can see. Carbon fiber trim. As usual you have the Porsche uh, jump kat sini. Seating 
ada tulis turbo satu lagi benda yang diorang dah buat sebabkan diorang dah racekan center console yang ni they switch the gear selector to here so the selector is now here senang sikit nak tukar gear instead of here and then also for the mekan turbo kau boleh nampak belah belakang ni more agresif dia ada cut out kat sini is this functional? no it's not tapi dia nampak lebih agresif ada tambahan diffuser belah bawah tu instead of the mekan 4 tu biasa je regular diffuser and this one has a, a bit more aggressive styling on the turbo ada roof rail kat sini instead of yang macam kat mekan 4 tu tak ada roof rail nampak kan tak ada roof rail this one ada so sekarang ni diorang tengah bawa kita tour dekat 55 kereta yang kita bakal test kita orang akan bawa full track dengan kereta-kereta ni setiap semua yang ada dalam ni akan ada chance untuk bawa kereta-kereta ni lah so let's go kita sekarang dalam Panamera and my friend is going to be driving first and then after this is going to be me kita orang akan macam biasa pusing the lap get a feel of the car dynamics and all that right kita berada di dalam the most the one that I said I like the most the Taycan Cross amazing tadi pun dah rasa dah sebenarnya dah rasa dia punya Uh, dah rasa dia punya talk semua sebab member sebelah tadi dah bawa so sekarang turn aku pula untuk bawa instructor tu bawa laju gila but it's okay sebab aku dalam Taycan Cross and it's an electric car effortless gila bila aku nak kejar dia we break and then we ease in just one nice corner around this gila laju now I can okay, press Go. Alright, ease up, ease up, ease up. That's it. Well done. Gila laju. <laughs> Aku tekan sikit je. Uh, Aku tekan sikit je laju. Gila. gila. Uh, memang macam kartun. By far, my favourite is the Taycan Cross lah. Aku tak tahu nak cakap macam mana lah. Ada sedan. Yes, okay, cantik. Cepat, cepat, Tetapi cepat, yang yeah, cross yeah, tu yeah, lagi yeah. cantik dengan yang belakang yeah, tu lah. Yeah, I cannot yeah. stress so, this yeah. enough lah. The Taycan yeah, cepat, cepat. Cross. The best. Acceleration on top notch Handling pun top notch The fact that this car Ada so much weight Ada 2 ton eh Dekat dengan 2 ton But the way it carries itself Dekat corners And then when you accelerate out You're still in traction tu I don't know what to say man Porsche They know what they're doing With their cars So You cannot question them ah. Porsche Come on man Bagi satu pusingan Dalam sepang Dalam kain terbo yang ni not as kita as the one in front and the front one more prettier the one is the Cayenne Turbo kitted with GT bits quite nice if you ask me everyone is that place Antara kain turbo biasa Dia punya bag dia macam ni And then this one is the kain turbo Coupe uh, Coupe coupe kau boleh nampak roof line dia yang lebih slanted lah So it's a bit different And that is the stock kit This one is way kitted out With the GT bits The rims, the exhaust, the Spoiler And even the brake disc So yeah, let's go For the last round Dengan Cayenne Turbo Coupe I kind of like the coupe look Sebab dia punya roof tu The way it comes down like that Looks much better Aku sebenarnya tak sabar ha, tu, Dia orang baru je settle test drive GT3 RS, GT2 RS semua yeah, Aku tak sabar nak masuk group sana je nanti Turn 1, turn 2 Once you come to turn 2 And we start to gel up speed again Turn 1, turn 2 tak ada masalah ha, dengan SUV ni Sumpah rasa lain gila from all the other SUVs that we've driven in Kareta, right? I cannot say... I cannot say anything bad about this ah. Ha. Porsche have nailed it 
in the makan in the KNs semua rasa best gila they feel so in control macam instructor tu cakap lah Porsche's cars are quite balanced no matter how heavy they are even the Taycan 2 tahun lebih pun look at that aku sebenarnya coming in quite hot at that corner tapi the grip lah juga very grippy super nice attack the attack the apex and then accelerate Super sedap Sekarang kita berada dekat test track braking and slalom We are going to have a demo session with the 911 Turbo S And then the K-Man ke Boxster Tak sure Dia akan buat testing lawn control Jarang-jarang korang rasa 2.6 seconds tau Jarang-jarang Porsche bagi peluang macam ni But crazy man yeah. Tanpa launch control pun dah yeah, Best with yeah. the launch control is crazy yeah. Okay thank you so much Welcome. Sekarang kita akan tengok uh, Slalom test So this is the demo version Lepas ni kita pula yang akan bawa My word go, okay. Three, two, one, go. Okay, faster, faster, go. Make it smooth hands. Ah, uh, don't don't fling the car. Ah, yeah. smooth your hands. Go, guys, nice and smooth. Go and break hard, break hard, break hard. Quick turn, quick turn, quick turn. Patient. Yes, nice and smooth. Okay, smooth. Keep it smooth. Ah, uh, control aggression. Go, be quick, go. Control aggression. To the right, guys, guys, guys. And break hard, break hard. Ah, uh, three, two. One, go! Smooth! Keep it smooth! That's it, go smooth! Control the gas, smooth! Gas, 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 go! To the right, break! Uh, uh, you can break, touch, go break! Gas, gas, gas! Tak break, tak boleh pusing! Uh, Tunggu cakap, bila slow corner, semua jadi berani! Uh, uh, bila pass corner, semua kena kabut nak break! Gas, 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 gas! Control! Gas, 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 gas! Uh, break hard, break hard! That's it! Better! Well done! Thank you! Okay, Alright, make a U-turn, bring the park kita balik! Ah, what an experience though Tak pernah-pernah kita bawa launch control I mean tak pernah kita bawa kereta semahal itu Dekat track macam ni And you get to push it to the max Style lah, style lah memang One of these days, a Porsche will be in my garage Amin, amin, amin But Ada sebab kenapa Porsche invited us to try each one of their cars it's part of the Porsche experience if you don't experience their cars firsthand you will never know how they feel out among all each and every one of the models they have one thing in common which is balance handling balance performance balance engine power is so balanced with the way the car handles dia ambil corner apa semua nicely with the power that's enough kau tekan je dia pergi everything has to go together and work smoothly to be one perfect car even mekan SUV ke sports car ke apa ke sama je everything works flawlessly sedap gila bawa aku rasa kalau korang ada peluang untuk try Porsche experience Kalau the local dealership ada ke apa You guys can try to enroll yourself in the Porsche experience You gotta give these cars a try at least Memang walaupun you can't afford it Walaupun I can't afford it right now Tapi these cars are something that you should dream about lah Kita dah selesai dah bahagian braking dan slalom Selepas ni ada section off-road Dan juga another track section with their sport car versions Their coupe versions So, jom. Inilah barisan-barisan untuk handling round number 2. These are the coupe cars that we are going to drive. Much more exciting than the models before. Sekarang is my turn to drive the 911. Yang ni adalah Turbo S. 
Turbo S Beza dia dengan GT3, GT4 ni uh, Basically 2 wheel drive, 4 wheel drive Much more tone down driving Obviously, Kita tapi untuk yang Turbo S ni More power actually Berbanding dengan GT3 RS Turn 1, turn 2 Flawless, flat Flat so, siap kita ni Sedapnya Even in the Turbo S pun aku dah rasa macam ni How would I feel inside the GT3 and the GT4 guys? Macam mana rasa dia? It's so flat Sumpah aku cakap the handling in this car So perfect Like literally flat aku tak rasa I mean obviously kau rasa body roll sikit but Damn Different level Such a different breed Okay, last straight Floor Let's go Well done Such an experience to drive these Porsches You guys really need the Porsche experience Sumpah aku cakap korang tak akan menyesal Sekarang kita swap ke GT4 RS Okay so tadi Turbo S Sekarang GT4 RS guys Tengok wing dia Bapak besar And this is the GT4 with the Waisak Waisak RS Immediately aku boleh tahu kereta ni Lagi kuat bunyi dia daripada Turbo S Obviously lah yang, yang tu lagi kedap Lagi apa Lagi senyap sikit This one is more raw Keluar pit oh. Aku tekan sikit je Bunyi intake tu start Buka Kau boleh dengar kat telinga kau It's literally a different experience bro There's no way to describe apa aku rasa dalam kereta ni Aku nak lawan GT3 RS depan ni Tak boleh lawan Different level bro Sumpah Cakap The Turbo S Turbo whatever Those are the more Tone down levels lah The GT3 RS The GT4 RS Well done guys Dia punya rawness The engine power You can hear the engine sound Semua The way they take corner More flat More bell, More Oh my god More everything bro Body roll sangat kurang Then again Compared to The others Uh, untuk yang GT3, GT4 Dia fokus more on the handling side So it's not more the power Dia orang fokus, it's more on the handling part And Wah Effortless Effortless throughout all the corners Kita bawa bukannya laju, bukan hot lap ke apa But effortless Throughout the corners kau bawa macam biasa Kau bawa sedikit laju, spirited driving pun Effortless The way it hugs the corners man Perfect Damn Uh, slack tadi masa kita drive GT3 RS tu GoPro tu cut short sebab mungkin overheat ke apa So aku tak dapat nak rakam reaction aku dengan GT3 But basically GT3 dengan GT4 GT3 lagi senang nak kendali I don't know how but It's just the handling good 
daripada GT3 RS tu lagi nimble lagi agile even the steering feel pun lagi ringan so aku rasa macam aku senang lagi nak ambil corner apa semua dan body roll totally totally beza dengan Targa dengan uh, the Turbo S yang lain-lain yang biasa yang bukan GT series beza totally different even the raw power raw feel pun different but anyway now kita berada dalam Cayenne kita akan lalu a series of off road test kita nak test capability dia so first test is menurun bukit kita akan hold bagi kereta tu jalan sendiri ke bawah then kita power up slowly and then selepas tu ada satu slanting corner and uh, axle axle bending dia orang panggil kita akan turun dengan secara sangat perlahan dia suruh slow kan so i have to go down really slow slow as Okay, sekarang dia dah hijau, let go of the brakes Then, dia akan roll down by itself Agak steep eh, inclination ni Kita masuk terus ke air ni Selepas tu That's it, don't splash it, slower, 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 slower. Go up uh, Roll it slower, okay now Further. Constantly climb up, slow, nice and easy, constant speed Only 1 to 2 km per hour, nothing faster than that Ah, uh, this is where you have to have this delicate control over your over your throttle pedal. Well done, guys. Well done. Okay, obstacle one done. Now, kita akan ke slanting punya. This is to test how the car stays on the slant, the slant uh, angle. Ah, that's correct. Ah, uh, slipping down. Who is steering wheel straight? You are turning the wheel. Don't look closer. Ah, uh, automatically it's just normal. Hello. So ini adalah last uh, surprise dia orang untuk kita. You see me in the helmet, you see me in the baklava. It's because I think oh, we're in a driver with Hello. So you are going to be driving us? Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. So for this round aku rasa better aku pegang je. Hello. Hello. Thank you for driving us. Please show See, us mercy. Thank you when we are back. <laughs> so lean forward. Come on. All with me. Forward. 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 Oh. <laughs> 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 Our driver is having fun with the Deccan. <laughs> Sliding the car. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, so selesai sudah event ni uh, PWRS Porsche World Road Show. Thank you so much Porsche for inviting us. Thank you so much to the driving instructors for teaching us how to drive the car and all that. We know uh, we need to drive the cars properly because it's a Porsche. You cannot drive it gently. You cannot drive it takut-takut. Uh, Kau memang kena bawa dia properly. If not, kau tak akan rasa the true Porsche. Uh, feeling, you know. So kita dah try dah from the SUVs to the 911s, and then kita bawa SUV Cayenne the car off road. Overall, the experience was great. Thank you again Porsche. Thank you again the instructors. Semoga kita jumpa lagi. Bye bye. Assalamualaikum.